Hey guys, another quest guide today for Tears of the Kingdom. This one is for the Domain Gerudo type, Domain Gerudo quest, the Regio Gerudo town. So this one you've gotten another riddle, quite like the one we gotten for the Zora place, which is a lot of fun. Anyway, this one reads that you have to stand back to back the throne, witness the red pillars across the vast sea, unite the pillars in light to reveal the lightning stone and open the way. You who can hear my voice, come wait me. All right. So the idea is if you look with your back facing the throne, pretty much move that uh, statue of the sand line out of the way and face the back of the throne and look out into the desert sands, you will see two pillars, well, not pillars, but two kind of structures with three pillars each out in the distance. Um, what you need to do is make your way to the first one of those. And what you'll do is you'll find that there's a piece of stone in the center of it that is um, cracked. You need to bust it with a rock or some kind of a bomb or uh, what we hear, a rock hammer, which is just a sword and a rock of mine together. And what this will do is make a beam of light shoot out of it. So I'll look over here and you will see that's where the original uh, place was, the first um, statue. So there's the Gerudo town with the shrine on the top. I pretty much uh, glided from that shrine down to here, broke the stone and it, ignited, it turned on the light and the light shot this way. So that was the other pillar that we could see from the, the throne. But there's actually three of them out in the desert, and this is the third one. And it's a bit of a harder one to find. So when you first light this um, structure up, this will be the first one you see from the throne room. It will shoot light in this direction, so you can see the beam here. <clears throat> but this uh, tower isn't visible, so it's not visible from the, the location of where it is. It's buried under the sand. So what you need to do is find where it is. And then run a little further on, and you can see from where I am here, there's like a little structure over there. Um, with a wheel on the top. So what you need to do is go over there and rotate that wheel. You can um, use your ascend ability on that part of the pillar, just to get up. And uh, that'll allow you then to to rotate the wheel. And you'll see one direction will make bring it down, it'll bring it up. So make sure you're pushing in the right direction. Anyway, keep lifting this tower up until... I got into the darkness now. Until this mirror hits the beam that's coming this direction. So it hits the beam coming this direction. And that then shoots light over to that direction. And that'll be your final of the three um, pillars that you need to bring light to as part of this riddle. So what you'll have to do then once you've, or once you've moved this uh, structure up. Is just make it over to the final of the three. So hideous jump cut over to the next tower. So I'm at the third tower now that I was pointing at previously. And when you get here, you'll find a little stone thing in the middle that needs to be smashed again. And it gives you some crafting components. Now, I'm fairly sure this isn't how uh, the game developers intended on you solving this problem. This is how I solved it. And it works. So I guess if it works, it works. So anyway, the idea is that I built that little thing using um, two of those stones and the sticks. Now if you hit those uh, stones with a, a sword, they do float. Which makes you think that's what... There's something more to this than what I'm doing with it. Oh. Okay. You gotta rest it in the middle like that or else you don't have enough height to bring the pole all the way up. And uh, with it like this, I now can run up to the top of the tower. Sure do miss the lovely sunlight. And when I'm up the very top, um, I can just grab that stick again then, and I should be able to bring the, I'm up on the, wrong, the wrong power. I find these things are so finicky to pick. I've been doing a couple of videos for the shrines as well, and I find the same problem. They often select the wrong one. So I'll just put it down like this so I don't end up knocking it. So as you can see anyway, the beam of light from, so that was the second tower we were just at in the previous section of the video. The beam of light here is shooting slightly off center. Now we can assume that there's a little gear up here, although the gear is missing handles, so... Oh, Link is getting a bit, uh, sick of the heat. Back to my sapphire broadsword, is that enough? Um, so you can see the gear handle thing here is missing the pig. I don't think I'm going to need all four. One should probably be enough to uh, 
Rotators. Are we moving? Slowly but surely. You only need the one. So I'm guessing go until we're lined up with the other tower. There we are. We've made a Bermuda Triangle. Where all the Gipto lie in the middle. So there we go. Mystery solved. Not the hardest riddle. Certainly spent a lot of more time on the Zora one. But uh, that's all you need to know for this one. Mission solved. I won't spoil what happens. Let you see it for yourself. I'll talk to you later.